This is Las Vegas Real Estate Now with local real estate expert Harvey Blankfeld. Where we want to educate you about our market, empower you to make wise decisions, and help you engage with our expert contributors. But let's start uh, with our weekly update. And let me give you the stats first. Let me bring them up for you. <clears throat> let me get this stuff out of the way. Okay, so uh, this past week, again, this is just single family homes. So we're going to talk about what happened with just single family homes here. Now, this first stat is the current availability. Uh, and this is the total number of homes available as of this point. 5,326 single family homes currently available. That's down 152 from last week. Now, the rest of these numbers are only for the past week, only for the past seven days. So in escrow, we put 813 more homes in escrow. That's five more than last week. That's a good number, a nice number to see. We closed 456 single-family homes. You're going to notice that's significantly down from last week. Well, one of the reasons is that, that the week of 7-9 is the first week in July, and the first week is usually the weakest week of the month when it comes to closing because everyone likes to close the end of the month, the previous month. So that's one of the reasons that number is down. <clears throat> the number of withdrawals, this has proven to be kind of a, a, a boring stat, quite honestly, throughout this pandemic. We have not seen a lot of withdrawn listings uh, throughout this time, except for those first few weeks. But since then, the numbers have been quite normal. Uh, the median sold price, look at this. This past week, the median sold price was 339888 That's up, again, uh, over $6,300 from last week. Um, you know, these numbers, again, on a week-to-week -week basis, they're not necessarily uh, all that poignant. However, you have to look at this trend. It continues to go up. Maybe we're going to see July break another record. We're not sure. But right now, I'd say we seem to be on course for that. The sold price per square foot, this is a more, a more interesting statistic, but this is also up, $174.20 a square foot. Median days on market went down a little bit, 38 days. Um, currently, with this inventory, this is a low inventory, guys. 5,300 single-family homes is pretty small for us. Um, our, our normal market here is somewhere around eight or 9,000, so it's, it's pretty low. And uh, now let's show you what, what's been happening with that over time. And I'm going to show you going back. Let's look at a couple things. Um, first of all, let's look at the inventory. That's the first thing I want to see. Going back to middle of May, 6,400, middle of May. It's come down every single week since then, down to 5,300. Inventory's been shrinking every single week. Well, you, say, you might say, well, gee, Harv, well, that just means there's less sellers. No, we're, we're selling them. Look at the escrows. Um, 673, 711, 740, 820, 940. The escrows are up there. They're good. We're, we're putting houses in escrow. We're seeing the pipeline be refilled uh, for closings. Uh, and the closings have been substantial. Five, you know, five, just under 500 a week. And last week was a monster week with 844. Now we're back just a little under 500 again. The median sold price, look at this interesting number. The median sold price keeps creeping up. It just keeps going up. From you know 314, 315, 320, back down to 315, 322, 331, 333, 339. And then the median price per square foot, this is an interesting stat also. This has crept up to 174. Now back in this second week in May, it was 173 and change. So it's it just keeps bouncing around that number, but that's the biggest number I've seen yet. 174. I think it's the, here's a 173.89. This is the biggest number I've seen yet. And again, on a week's basis, it's not a huge sample, but it's pretty consistent. So I would tell you that this is something that we have to continue to look at, and, but it keeps creeping up just a little tiny bit. It, keep, it keeps on moving up just a bit. So perhaps that's a trend as well we should continue to follow. I've got an article here from the RJ, so let's take a quick peek at that. I wanna talk about that. Uh, Las Vegas home prices set record in June as sales rebound. Okay, and this is written by Eli Siegel. Uh, we often quote Eli. What he's talking about here is, is again, a record price of 325 for the month of June. That's up 3% uh, from May and up 7% from last year. Now, it also points out, however, that the, the closings in June were 2464. That's up 44% from May. That's up big from May, uh, but down 15% from last year. So, um, again, volume's a little bit off, but prices are strong. The demise of uh, the housing market due to COVID was highly overrated. It's a great comment. It's true. Um, the inventory is tight, as we just described. 
Um, we did start this year. He also points out that we did start this year with a burst of homes. The first uh, January and February were monster months compared to years previous. And uh, we're doing very, very well. We were on a course for a record year with volume as well. Uh, of course, the volume's been, been uh, stripped down quite a bit, but it's not been stripped out as much as you might think. I think the worst we saw, we were off by about 30 to 35% on any given month, maybe back in April. Uh, but since then, like Ju you saw that June was only off 15% in volume. The unemployment rate, this is an interesting thing, and this is something that, that, that kind of belies what's happening in real estate. Um, it was 3.9% in February, and it went to 34% in April. Um, it dipped to 29% in May, but still amongst the highest in major markets throughout the U.S. Let's look at something else here, too. I pulled stats for the month of June from uh, Greater Las Vegas just to show you what they're showing. And this is some of the things that Tom Blanchard was talking about in that article Eli pointed to. Again, here's that median price, you know, 325. Um, an interesting number. Uh, the biggest median price ever in our market. Um, broke the record. Probably going to break the record again in July. Number of closings, uh, 2464 again, down 15%, but up 44% from the previous month. So June really crushed May in terms of volume. So we saw a lot more volume in June which is good to see. So we're coming out of this thing. But more interesting, look at the median closing price. Look at this. Since 2013, look at how it just keeps creeping up. Just keeps creeping up and creeping up. Finally here in, in, in June, we've broken the record. The previous record was in, was in March, which is interesting also. But, but you know, prior to that, it was back in 2006. Quite a ways to come from the mid 2000s and from our crash, we finally gotten back to those numbers. Uh, some years later, some 15, 14 years later. Here's an interesting, though. This is something very interesting. Months of availability. I was having a conversation with some people from some other markets, and we were talking about what makes a market neutral. In other words, what kind of, how many months of inventory uh, before a market is a seller's market versus a buyer's market, and where is it neutral? And across the country, the, the term is usually somewhere around six months' worth of inventory makes a market neutral. I'm going to tell you here in Vegas, that's just not the case. Here in Vegas, I think it's closer to three to four months. And if you take a look at the effective months of availability since 2013, you can see we've never really exceeded four months. Here in Vegas, I think neutral is closer to about three to four months. Right now, you're only seeing two months. So what does that mean? It's, it's still kind of a seller's market. There's just not a lot of inventory out there. And that belies what people are thinking. It's con you know, it runs counterintuitive to what we believe would be happening out there. And so I want to say to you is, is that, um, is it a good time to buy or sell? Well, certainly the, the inventory says it's a good time to sell. Uh, you're fine to sell. I mean, the market needs your home. And so go ahead, list it, bring it out. Uh, we'll get you a good price. That's what's happening right now. But you might say, well, gee, that does, does that mean it's not a good time to buy? Here's the great thing. <clears throat> the cost of buying right now is so good, and here's why. There's two major components to purchasing right now. There's the price of the homes, which is just set a new record. You say, oh, oh my God, they're, they're at an all-time high. Well, in certain, in certain, again, segments or segments, so it's not, not everyone's home is at its max value. Believe me, that's not the case. But as a market, we are. But there's the other component is interest rates. And interest rates are phenomenally low. I mean, they're so low. They're crazy low. We're talking two and change for some uh, uh, mortgages right now. It depends upon your credit. depends upon a lot of factors. But there are people out there right now getting mortgages for under 3%. Please join us again next week as we keep you up to date on everything real estate here in Southern Nevada. Remember, send me any questions or ideas for next week's broadcast. Tune in every Thursday at 3. Also, please let your friends and family know to like our Facebook page and be reminded about our updates at LV Real Estate Radio. We'll catch you next week. Thanks again for joining us.